<sighs> How's it going? How's it going with you? Going great. So this movie, oh my goodness, some of the locations were so crazy. You had swamps, you were filming in yeah. Vietnam. What's like that for you as an actor? Did that help you develop your character more? Or did you feel some of those obstacles got in the way sometimes? No, um, definitely helps. Uh, because the, as an actor, there's so much to imagine. You have to imagine Kong, you have to imagine these skull crawlers. You have to imagine that you're living on this island that has, uh, where evolution has accelerated at, at, at an extraordinary rate. Um, and if you're surrounded by, you know, trees and rainforests and jungle and swamps, it helps you imagine that you're actually in this otherworldly place. What was one of the locations for you was either the hardest or the best, where you were like, this is my best work because of where I am? I think probably that there's a swamp in northern Vietnam in a place called Ninh Binh, uh, which was definitely the hardest and also the most uh, helpful. Because um, as a group, we're running away from a terrifying creature and we were in this enormous swamp and it was quite cold. And every day we had to get sort of, we get up in the morning, get dressed, have a cup of coffee and then submerge into this really quite cold swamp water. And uh, I remember thinking, this is, uh, <laughs> this is gonna get old quite quickly. Um, but it was really good. It re you really feel like these characters are up against it in that scene for that reason. And what is it about King Kong that you think that people can just connect with, even children and childhood memories of King Kong? Yeah, I think there's something, children have a fascination with animals and with nature. And I think as we grow up, we never lose that. Um, and the idea of Kong is a kind of alpha predator who is, you know, who represents something noble and majestic and terrifying about nature is, is something we've always found exciting. Now, talking about kids, um, what is one of the things you find most important using your platform in Hollywood to support initiatives like UNIFEF, where they talk about kids and helping them? I know you're a part of that. Yeah. Um, well, uh, I think it's really important um, that every child uh, deserves a fair start in life. Um, as adults, we have the luxury of choice. Um, not all of us, but, but many of us um, can make choices. And um, the reason I'm, I'm, I work with UNICEF is that they believe in that every child uh, has a right to an equal start and they do everything they can um, to help ensure that. And can people go anywhere to donate? Because I feel a lot of people don't know about it. Well, it's one of those things where um, there are all sorts of platforms online um, where, which can be quite informative and educational. Um, and, um, and also the, like the website, every national territory has a local website. Um, which can tell people more about um, where those resources go into helping the most disadvantaged children in the world. Well, thank you so much. And definitely okay. everyone needs to check out Skulls Island. It looks amazing. So check it out in theaters. They give me access to the writer where I can sit down with them and go, okay, well, I think, you know, the character speaks in this kind of uh, tone or or he would say this or right. he would say that right. or we're at a point where it's like um this is just a dead space can I say something here and they go what do you want to say and I'll say it and then they go oh yeah yeah all right say that